part of it is by, you know, my ADHD, but part of it, you know, is like, I do get enjoyment from it. Like I am to an extent, like an experience seeker, but at the same time, like I, it gets overwhelming, even if I enjoy it. But I think that probably has more to do with like my ADHD and other things. I do have a lot, like I mean, that specific, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stress with it where I like, I feel like I'm trying to process everything in my surroundings at once. So it, it does get stressful. It can get like frustrating, especially when I'm doing something for someone else and they think the other way. And so like, for example, right now I'm doing this course for my work where I have to get the certification and the process of it. I'm like, this makes no sense. This isn't the most, you know, straightforward way to get this done. So it can, especially when I'm put up against someone else, it can get frustrating for me, but I'm pretty content because I feel like I get done what needs to get done. I make things more simplistic, but I know that's not the same for necessarily my friends and family. My go-to, especially when I'm interacting with others, is to like, rather than like, if they say, hey, can you do me this favor? I say, okay, wait, I need you to give me like a list, like send me a text, give me everything you need done. Because otherwise, if like, if I was a teenager, my mom says, you know, can you do the dishes? I'm gonna do the dishes, but she might mean do the dishes, clean the sink, clean the counter. So I'm like, and so she gets home and is unhappy. Meanwhile, I'm, I've done it. So my fix has been to, you know, make sure I'm here from their perspective, what they think a task entails rather than me to be like, there is a task and it was completed. In general, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. And I would say in general, it is like, it's satisfying to know that, you know, I'm very good at regulating and being aware of my emotions, but at the same time, it can get very stressful because I, for some reason, I'm very prone to feeling guilty. So like, if I'm all aware of like this overwhelming guilt feeling, I'm not always good at like placing the source. So it can get stressful, like being super aware, not just being aware of my general. So, but I do feel satisfied in that I'm never like, I don't have to battle what the emotions are. It's just processing, but I do feel comfortable and confident knowing that I can regulate and source the emotions without having to like, I know, for example, my sister, who's an INTJ, she doesn't enjoy processing emotions, even positive ones. It's just, you know, she feels that she feels. And meanwhile, I, to me, it's very important. So I, in my mind, I'm like, I feel like I'd be miserable just feeling and not being able to source it. I can spend too much time, you know, for example, if I have to make a big transition in life, like a job or a living situation, I oftentimes kind of become very, uh, can't think of the word, just I don't do anything because I'm so overboard, like going through all the possibilities. So I would say I don't have a good skill in, you know, regulating that. But I do, like, I would say there's a lot of internal processing of hypotheticals and stuff, which, I mean, in times it can be great. Like, you know, if I'm talking about, you know, situations that don't apply to me, it's, I don't mind, you know, going overboard with the what if then. But if it's like a tactile, you know, actual situation I'm approaching, it can get um, very, it can get really difficult. I know what to do and honestly, for me, making it an actual tactile, concrete experience tends to help where, you know, sometimes I have to shut down that part of my brain and just dive off the, you know, make the leap because I, I'm not good at pairing the concrete with the abstract. I, so I sometimes just have to, unfortunately, just have myself stop thinking in that sense. I tend to, I have a lot of memory skills. I mean, my parents, when I was growing up, were always like, I don't know how you remember that. Like, usually insignificant things like, oh, this is the where we sat last time we came to this restaurant. Like, and memorizing, like, with, like, 
I'm not always good at like, if I, for example, when I was in school and I would be like memorizing vocabulary words, I might remember the words, but not the definition, or I remember the definition, but not the word. But I tend to have a lot of stored, like I'm pretty, a lot more comfortable with the concrete memory than, or the concrete thought than the abstract. Uh, it probably is more out of my control. I find that when I'm trying to remember things, like when I'm trying to like, you know, note things down, especially in the sense of like school and stuff, it becomes more difficult than, you know, I might remember if I was doing a test, I might remember everything except the thing that I was told focus on this because I guess I've spent so much that I, I lose the, the, the skills focused on something else. So I, I have a good memory, but it's not always, yeah, I would say it's a little more difficult to attempt to do it. It's more subconscious. I, again, I might overthink it. I can't say I'm always right, but I feel very attuned. Like I feel very aware if there is discontentment, like I'm very attuned to what other people are feeling, especially how I, come across two people like I'm always worried if I've upset someone or someone doesn't like me but I I feel pretty good at um telling maybe not telling the exact emotion but I can tell the general I feel pretty comfortable addressing or being familiar with other people's emotions and it uh, it's not my favorite like I mean I enjoy being empathetic I I want to be aware of how other people are feeling but it can get a little stressful, especially you know, with people you're more familiar with, because <laughs> there's a whole family thing there. But uh, yeah, I would say I'm pretty good at it, but it's not my favorite thing, but I like it. Yeah, I feel like I kind of suck at it. Like, I feel like I'm not, like, I I can do it. I can, I, something, I guess, just growing up, you know, being in more real life situations, I can do it, but it's, it is something I have to turn on like I have to go, okay, it's time to process this. It's time to, you know, think about it, but it's, it's a manual thing. I can't, I mean, I can't, I think I underline, I'm always somewhat logically thinking and internalizing, but it's not, it's not my strength and I have to be very intentional about it. I'm pretty, that's something that I do a lot. Like I, I don't, I thought it wasn't because I always want to have like skills in like creative writing and like artsy art. But when it comes to like how I intake artistic creativity stuff, because I'm just not very good at creativity, but I tend to like that. It tends to give me like when I read a book or when I'm watching something, I tend to not have to like think about it to analyze it. Like it's something I really like about how my brain works is that that is how I approach stuff. So it's, it's something I have to remember that I do because that's just how I am. I do, it can get a little, again, I think like there's, you know, a positive and negative to all of it, but I do feel like, especially like if I might be in a conflict or something, it's impossible for me to just think about the, the facts of it. I have to be like, okay, but this means this, and this is this kind of thing. But in general, I would say it's one of the things I like about how my brain works is that I do naturally just think outside and like see things from different angles and it can make specifically for my job which is working with kids it can make it a lot easier 